Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to do a little review on the Luby Convention Toaster Oven that I just received a few days ago. So I was very excited to get this with Thanksgiving coming up because I wanted a nice sized turkey to be able to fit in there. So that's why I got the extra large Luby Toaster Oven. So yeah. Here's the instructions. So it's 55 liters. And I, I have used it once. I baked cookies in there. So I'm really excited with uh, what I purchased. So it holds 18 slices, a 14 inch pizza and the 20 pound turkey. So let's see, up here is for the top heating tube, goes up to zero to 450, and you can set it for the top. And then this one also is for the bottom, does the same thing, 150, 250, 350, up to 450. And then down here you have your timer. Now this got a little tricky for me. So it has the timer that starts from zero that goes to 60 minutes. And then it has the stay on button. So that's what it was on when I purchased it, the stay on button. So once you put your timer on, 10 minutes, whatever you need it to be on, then your oven comes on. You open it up, it comes with two nice racks. You can place them anywhere you want. They come straight out. Also has a little rack cooler right here. a nice tray, bacon tray. So really, you're getting three layers. So, like I said, I already did my cookies in here and they turned out great. Now, the scary part for me was where it says stay on, once I turned it this way, I couldn't get it to go back. And I had my daughter email them. They didn't respond. So I actually watched another video and I seen where the guy turned his straight back. So I was like, let me try it again. Well, I guess because it's new, it's a little hard to get the timer to go off or back to the stay on. Because if you do 60 minutes and you need something to stay on longer than 60 minutes, like my turkey, of course, you want it to be able to go on to stay on. So I just came and used a little bit more muscle and it turned it off. Because I was seeing in a lot of comments that people were receiving these and were not getting the stay on part. So yes, the stay on part does work. Um, you can turn it forward and backwards which was the tricky part for me because I didn't think it was going to go backwards. I was afraid that it was going to break, but actually you just have to use a little strength. So um, the only downside that I could say for this is it does get hot all the way around. And I mean, really, really hot. So you have to make sure when you're using this, you're only touching this part because everything inside gets extremely hot. Now just turn everything back to the off position. But I wanted to show you because I was so concerned if my turkey, I wanted at least a 20 pound turkey for, the, for my family. So I'm using this right now for the simple fact that I turned it on. And that's 
sure how hot it is, but it's really not too, too hot right now. Well, actually, it is a little warm. A lot better. So I'm just going to sit this up here so I can show you that the turkey that I bought will fit in here because like I said that was my main concern was the turkey. So as you can see right here on my tag, let's see if you can really see it. It's 19.57 pounds. So it's not that warm to put it in here. It's not that hot guys. So as you see, still has the paper and all on it of course. So nothing would be touching. But you can see, the 20 pound turkey will fit in here just right for me. So, can't wait for Thanksgiving to be able to try this out for my turkey. The cookies turned out nice, so that's a plus. Maybe I can do a video on the cookies. But that turned out nice. And then you could just slide these back in wherever you want. Let's see. Uh, I'll go across right here for this one. And then I don't need that anymore. And then I can place this one up here. We can close this back up. Now, another thing. If you don't want to use the top heating, you don't have to turn the top on. You can just use the bottom and turn the bottom one away and just heat from the bottom. Or you can do the top and not the bottom. And But so far when I used it for the cookies, I used the top and the bottom. That I like the way it came out like that. But I can say for the price that it was, I got my money's worth. And I believe that we're going to have a nice meal coming from this. A lot of nice meals coming from this. We're going to do some cakes, continue doing cookies, brownies. Um, my turkey that I can't wait to try out in here. But I can definitely say this is worth getting. You know, I only paid $132 for the extra large. And so far, so good. Like I said, the only scary part I had was going forward with this button and not thinking that I could turn it back. See, you do have to put a little muscle in there to turn it back. So, here's the Luby Extra Large Toaster Oven. If anybody's interested, you know, I'm just showing you, you know, how the new oven is not getting anything out of it just showing you the new oven that we received and yeah I'm happy with it so hopefully for Thanksgiving I could do a video and show you how nice my turkey turns out and the Luby toaster oven extra large thank you guys for watching my video see you on the next one bye